hello from our own backyard. We made it to Epcot. Yeah, we're at Epcot here at Walt Disney World for the Flower and Garden Festival, and we're really excited to try a lot of fun foods. We're gonna look at some of the pretty flowers, and we wanted to take you guys along, because this is this is where we live. We live by here, and we thought it would be kind of cool to take you along for something in our neck of the woods. And it's our type of day. Go in, eat some food, look at some things yep. and go home. This, this is how we do it. So if, you, if you're a Disney local, you, you know the way. I'm really, really excited. There's a dish in Canada I'm looking forward to. Sweet. I, I like how you say it like Canada. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm gonna get. So uh, we'll have to just search around and see what strikes my fancy. I'll probably end up picking 90% yeah, of probably. your things. Andrew's a lot less picky than me. So I always wanted to try the adventurous stuff, but we'll see what, what I end up getting. But come along with us, we're excited. Cheers. Cheers. lunchtime yet so we decided to start off our day in the butterfly garden and we went to a butterfly garden where in Gainesville recently and it, Gainesville. Was, it was a little too cold which is crazy for so Florida. There was like no butterflies. But I'm already seeing some flying around and just the plants outside so I'm, I'm really excited to kind of see that I've never I've never been in this butterfly garden. It's in the same no. location. They had it in a different location years ago but yeah let's go find it. Maybe yeah. we'll fly on your head. Yeah I hope it lands on me that'd be so cool. Absolute win. Yeah, the butterfly garden was a complete win. There was tons of butterflies. They were flying all around. None yeah. land on your head, but they were great. Andrew thinks it's the best butterfly garden he's ever been in. Yeah. Out of the four, five. Yeah, you know what? This is number one out of five. So we figured we should probably explain what Flower and Garden has. So it's a festival at Epcot that has a whole bunch of different flower displays, it has a whole bunch of different topiaries, and it has food booths around the world showcase. So we're gonna be going to multiple different food booths. We didn't explain that earlier, but that is what Flower and Garden is. It's, it's like a big food festival. They try to make it more like fresh themed, garden themed, things like this. And they take a lot of influence from the countries in the World Showcase. So near the UK, you might have UK inspired dishes. Near France, you're gonna have French inspired dishes. And they try to use, you know, everything. Very local, garden, colorful, lots of fruits and vegetables. And I'm excited what we can see because we don't usually eat at this festival, so no. this will be a fun one. Let's go explore. Yeah. This is my favorite of the topiaries. Look how pretty it is. I love it because Isabella is like a flower creator and so she's like doing her flowers. Then you have Antonio, you have Mirabelle, Luisa, like the whole family. It's, it's easily my favorite, super pretty. I think we're gonna go with dessert first. First booth, we're going for dessert. <laughs> so our first stop was the Florida Fresh booth where we got the strawberry shortcake. Dessert eats first, right? Dessert eats first. All right, let's go. Let's get a little bit of strawberry, some whipped cream, whipped cream some shortcake. Cheers. Oh yeah. Mm. It looks good. I'm a huge strawberry shortcake fan. You love strawberry shortcake. I figured this would be a good first start for you. You would love the whipped cream. It's so thick. Nice. Is it like kind of like a cool whip? Oh yeah, it's, it's more cool whippy than whipped cream. So what good would, start. What would we give this? One out of five, should we do flowers? Five flowers. Five out of Easy. five flowers, We're starting off strong. This is hard because I always love strawberry shortcake, but this is a really good one. Oh yeah, strong recommendation. Bees tall. I'm like 150 bees tall. <laughs> yeah, you're like 160 bees tall. You think it would be more bees? Yeah. You think it would be more? Yeah. 
I got the beef tenderloin tips from Canada's Northern Bloom. So it's beef tenderloin with like a mushroom sauce, carrots, and whipped potatoes. So I'm really excited. I went savory first. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so I feel like I have to get some potatoes and some mushroom sauce. Yep. Try to cut some carrot in here. Okay, here we go. It's delicious. Is it? Mm-hmm. It looks really good. But I would recommend this. This is really good. How many flowers do you give this I would meal? give this a three and a half flowers. Okay. Yeah, I think it's good. I think it is a little heavy yeah. for the event, but I do like it. The beef is really good. Final verdict. Three and a half flowers. Heard it here. Heard it here. <laughs> some Rolling Stones. All the Rolling Stones fans, where are you guys? Come on. Scotty on lead vocals. this little passport and I think I know what we're gonna try next. It's gonna be the impossible Jamaican beef patty with spicy papaya syrup. Let's see if it lives up. So we actually found a table to sit at, I know. which is so rare. The, the trash can is the unofficial table of flower and garden and all food festivals. Although the tables are really hot. Yeah, but like, we did find a seat and we are thankful for this. Look at that. So let's see what this is. Impossible Jamaican beef patty with spicy papaya syrup. It's, it's, and I had that beef patty in downtown at a farmer's market, which is really good. This is impossible. We'll say it's healthier. Oh, look at mm. that. I want to smell it. Oh, it smells, there's some spice to that. Mm -hmm. Do I forgot to do? Take a picture for the gram. It's super sweet because of the papaya, but it's really good. Does it have like a kick to it? A little bit, but not much. What would you give it? One out of five flowers. This gets four out of five flowers. This is delicious. I love the Jamaican beef patties. They're so good. You do, and it's an impossible one. Can you tell mm -hmm. it's impossible or does it taste not just like all. meat? This is one of the better impossible things I've had. Tastes just like sausage of some sort. I like it. Yeah, there we go. Makes me want to go to Jamaica. So we got the frushi, the viral frushi, because it's basically sushi with fruit inside. It's got a little bit of sesame on top, some whipped cream, some uh, berry of some sort. Katie says it's the best, so I should go ahead and go for it. So I gotta put some whipped cream, a little sauce. Cheers. Oh, it's so sweet. I will say, Andrew, you are excellent at chopsticks, my friend. Look That's right. That. that was really good. It looks so fresh. I have no idea what all the ingredients are. There's like pineapple and strawberry inside. Rice, obviously, and then some sort of coating. This is delicious. I give it a five out of five for look. Five out of five, it, it, it tastes good too. It looks so cute and it's pretty, it's one of the more affordable options here. Mm -hmm, like five bucks. Yeah. Uh, seven bucks. Seven bucks, okay, maybe not. It's great though. Honestly, this is really good. So final verdict, how many flowers? Five flowers. I mean, just for aesthetics, mm -hmm. this one gets five. Like, look at that there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, this is really good. Strongly recommend. 
I feel like we've gotten to try so many fun things already. Cheers. Cheers. So I was in America and we saw the Tiana Topiary and I thought that meant Cajun food and you guys know I can't pass up a gumbo. So this is the spicy chicken gumbo. So as you can see, I have my water here too. I can't handle spice nearly as well as Andrew can. You do well, you do better than you give yourself credit for. But here's some, here's some okra. Looks like we got some andouille, some chicken, some rice. Let's see. It's really good. Is it? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you gotta mix it So you kind of see, so we have like some, kind of rice down here. We have andouille sausage. We have pieces of chicken. It's really good. It's it's spicy. It has a kick for sure. I think I would give this one five out of five. It's would you? really good. <laughs> I definitely need water. <laughs> Andrew's the spice handler of the family. Now what's your favorite part of gumbo of like the shrimp the sausage and the chicken it's usually shrimp but there's not shrimp in this one but easily the andouille mm. the okra is really good too it has a kick for sure it's, i, I it's appreciate like i appreciate that it's more of a jambalaya yeah it's like a gumbo jambalaya I've had like five bites of gumbo and I'm already half the way of the bo bottle of water here. So we're going strong, but it's so good. All right, we have the flatbread. You came back for this. I you did. We backtracked. I backtracked. I mean, look at this. This is very, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I mean, it has like all these fresh plants on it and it's huge and it was only $6. Oh, wow. Like, let's see what we it's got so on It's so good. This. Oh. So we have, it's a Mediterranean flatbed with chermoula, roasted vegetables, artichoke, olives, and feta cheese. Well, it blends together perfectly. How would you rate this, Andrew? You've, you've rated everything pretty high so far. This is a five out of five. This is the best thing I've had today. Nice, even beat the shortcake. Even beat the shortcake, which is delicious. This is so good. I feel like we're getting stuffed, but we might have room for like a, a drink. Uh-huh. Well, we'll see if we can find a cute drink to show everybody. No, this is the best thing I've had today. This is phenomenal. It's really good. Oh. Cheers. I like how we went halfway around the world and that's it. <laughs> yep, I know. We've only made it halfway, everybody. So we'll have to find like a drink or something on the other. <laughs> strong of jasmine right here and it reminds me of home in california it makes me so happy it smells so good i don't know if you guys have not sold like i think it's called night blooming jasmine it smells so good We have a refreshing Fruit Loop shake and they put real Fruit Loops on it. You gotta try it, I guess, right? Yep. It's nice and cool. It's a warm day. 
It doesn't taste like fruit. Oh wait, no, there's the Fruit Loops. I would say it's definitely fun. It is really refreshing because it's ice cold. That coming through the straw, is it? <laughs> it's coming through the straw, barely. It's so weird, it's like the initial taste is like kind of berry, but then the aftertaste is just that Fruit Loop aftertaste that you know Fruit Loops has. I'm kind of digging it. What would you give it, Andrew, with her final one out of five flowers? I give this four. Not quite five, but it's really good. And I, I'm rating I, everything high, aren't I? You are. You're not a very tough judge. I'm not a big Fruit Loop fan, so I'm not gonna partake, but. No, this is, this is awesome. See, I told you you would like it. So that's a wrap on Flower and Garden 2024. Yep. Super fun. It, it was a great time. Some Good delicious food. food. Beautiful uh, flowers. Some really pretty flowers and really pretty food. Yeah. I thought bread was like real pretty. The fruit she was The fruit she was really cute. Strongly recommend you come on out. Yeah. It's like a food it, hall for it, us. It was a good time. It's so, like our neighborhood food hall of sorts. It's fun. So happy Saturday, y'all. Cheers. Well, it's Saturday for us. I'm not sure if it's going to be Saturday for you. Testing, testing, one, can two, three. Hello, can, can you, you hear, hear us? us? One, two. Andrew, why are we going back the direction that we came? We decided to go back to Morocco. And Andrew saw something that he We saw it walking up. by, and we decided we have to go get yeah, that. Yeah, we have to go get it. So we're, we're gonna make a slight detour, and then we'll, we'll head back around the, the right way. Only the utmost decorum here. Spilling all over. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. I, on the other hand, I've never seen this movie. I'm the only one left. <laughs> you do know who Bruno is. I do know who Bruno is. We don't talk We've, about him. The whole world talked about him too much. Testing, testing, testing the us? sound. Can you hear us? Look, angle? there's flowers. <laughs> 